hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the SDRE122B+, which was added, I guess, in the most recent major update. Now, the main difference between the B+, and the BPLSS is, uh, it's a bit smoother. Um, you know, if we go check out the skin in its default configuration, not on this really cool desert camo, you can see that uh, it looks a bit smoother. And as far as I know, that's really the only difference. I mean, yeah, it has a bit of add-on composite here on the side of the tank and on the side of the turret, but I don't really think that does a whole lot. Um, it really just adds another tank to the strongest MVT line in the game, this one right here. And if you cho choose, you can also bring a 2A6 to uh, really, I guess, wreck havoc on really any enemy team you'll face. Today, we'll be taking it out. We'll be, unfortunately, doing a lot of spawn camping because that's just kind of how top tier games go. But yeah, enjoy. Alright, for our first battle, we are here on Winter Arden, and of course, you always want to defend the B point on this map as soon as possible, just because if you don't, you'll lose the game. So I'm going to take a quick right here, and then watch this area right here, because usually you do see one or two people there. That guy is not looking at me, so let me just quickly shoot him. Yeah, never mind, we can't really pen a leopard from that angle. So uh, yeah, we're going to kind of just stay here for now. Might as well get rid of this guy. Gunner loaded track. That's he's gonna get his gunner back. So let's just quickly reverse here so that he doesn't do anything too crazy. Is he looking right at me? Uh yes he is. He shot. There we go. Now Celia, I don't really know where he was. But uh, I guess around in that direction, so we can kind of just finish him off there. And you know what? What I might actually do now is just kind of back up here and start capturing the zone. So that I can get our team a ticket advantage going. Oh, we do actually notice a uh, tank right there. Oh my god. Uh, let's just run away here. There we go. He non-pens on me. And he runs away. So sadly, I won't be able to re-engage him there. Now, this guy's a bit of a problem. Um, just because he's really annoying to deal with. Because now he's going to hinder all the things that I'm going to be doing here. That isn't very nice of him. But uh, I guess it is what it is. And uh, we'll try and make... The best of a very confusing situation. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's just go right here. Hopefully we'll reload on time. That's not good, but luckily I don't have any ammunition down there, so uh, he doesn't really do any damage to me as well. The leopard that I shot has also died now, and you know what? I am just going to send it. I should have shot his barrel there, uh, but whatever. There, there he goes. His radiator, so he can't radiate anymore. And uh, yeah, I will just kind of continue to push him here. He seems to be getting overwhelmed now as well, so that's good. Uh, we'll just finish him off by shooting him right there. Alright, there we go. There is a somewhat out-of-date leopard right there. Is that another tank there? I think it is. It's an Ariete, uh, which is unfortunate because I can just shoot him right there and detonate his ammunition. Now, um, there are, I guess, a couple of rest or remaining tanks in their spawn, but uh, they aren't really too dangerous. In fact, the helicopter is probably more dangerous to me right now. However, I don't really know where it is. So I guess we're just going to have to accept our fate if it does uh, send a missile towards me. There is an additional tank here though, so we'll just quickly get rid of him and back up. I know that he's manually guiding his missiles though, so if he does fire one at me, we'll know it. And there's also going to be a glowing red ball flying towards me, so we'll definitely know if that's the case. In fact, he has shot one at me now, so uh, I will move away now because I don't want to be missile. Well, it looks like he was actually targeting the BVM in front of me, which uh, I guess makes more sense. The tank next to me has also died now, so that's not too good. Perhaps from right over here, if I can get a good shot. There we go. Alright, there we go. Another chief dead. Oh, another tank that doesn't really belong at this BR, but hey, a kill is a kill, so that's fine. Um, I don't really know what else to do now, really, other than rush their spawn, because the enemy team has basically forfeited uh, their rights to moving towards the battlefield, but hey, maybe they will get lucky and manage to kill me. I also only have three rounds of ammunition left, so I guess that's also something to be a bit concerned about. Alright, there we go. There's that leopard dead now. Um... Supposedly there is someone down there. I think he may have been scouted. Oh, there we go. We do see him, I think. So maybe I will advance towards him now since, you know, the game is basically over. 
And I'm going to try and wait for a good opportunity there. That was not a good opportunity to shoot. So, uh, yeah, always be a bit more patient when engaging your favorite tanks. There we go. We'll just get his loader there. Admittedly, I didn't really see him properly. But luckily, he actually does J-out. So uh, that does give me the kill. I don't have any ammunition, though. So I am going to back up here into the C-point now to replenish it. But by the time I get a decent number, the game will probably be over. All right. I have replenished four rounds of ammunition. There seems to be one more tank there. So I can actually try and get a kill on him. Never mind, he's died. So, uh, yeah. I really had the chance to do that. There is another guy behind him there somewhere. But admittedly, my hopes are very low that he'll be surviving any of the attacks on him right now. But maybe, maybe we'll get lucky. And we do actually manage to get a kill. So that is very cool. Alright, there we go. Well, in the end, 10 kills, 1 zone. Which, uh, I forgot how many score we got. Um, let me just quickly check. 3,000, yeah, that probably wouldn't have been enough for a nuke, so I guess if we would have gotten like one or two kills, maybe we would have been able to spawn in one, but uh, yeah, that was not the case. Alright, for my next battle, I'm going to go and uh, explore the B point here with this friendly TDU. Hopefully I can climb this, but there we go, very nice. Now, I didn't actually mean to spawn here. Usually I spawn on the bottom half of the island, or of the town, I guess, because there you see more tanks. But yeah, unfortunately I forgot to select the spawn, so that's why... I am stuck here on this side. Alright, now I actually do hear a couple people in front of me. Unfortunately, I took a wrong turn here. So uh, I can't really engage them as I'd like to. Luckily, there is a bridge here for me to cross. So I can try and get here. But it also means that the enemies have also gotten to the point faster than I have. So that's not exactly optimal. But maybe they'll just never see me coming from this area of the map. Alright, there we go. Commander, loader, uh, and his engine as well. So I'll just safely ignore him now because he is not able to shoot me because, uh, yeah, his engine deck is in the way. And then we'll just shoot him a second time there. And there we go. That does give us uh, two very nice kills. Um, should be the only tanks here for now. So I guess I'll just capture it here. And then after that, maybe I'll try and move to the A-point, actually, because uh, it seems relatively empty right now. Alright, there we go. I have captured the zone. The hostile team is capturing C, but that's not too important, because the A-point is closer to me, and there's no reason for me to really go there. But now I actually hear a couple tanks in front of me, so what I'm actually going to do is uh, camp this corner right here, because if I don't, I'm probably going to get annihilated by whatever Abrams is behind. Yep, there we go. There's an Abrams watching the corner, so I'll have to point that out for my friendly T-80 here, unless he wants to, or in case he wants to engage that. Sadly, it also means that I can't really go to the A point now, though, because he's kind of watching this area, and if I push here, he'll uh, probably annihilate me. Oh, never mind, he's shot the friendly T-80 or whatnot. I don't actually know where he is. He might be behind uh, that building right there, so... I think for now, I might actually be able to not ignore him at all, because he's looking right at me. And there we go, there goes his breach. Uh, the problem is, to get to him, I'm gonna have to drive for quite a long time. But, you know what, I might as well try it, because the A-point is already getting captured. Ooh, that is not good, that is an Abrams looking right at me. Luckily, he does uh, not shoot me though, so I can just go right here, finish this guy off. And then I can go look at that Abrams that I engaged there earlier. Because I did get his track, we know where he is. So it shouldn't be too big of an issue to push him. However, I'm not so sure, actually, because he's looking right at me. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's too smart for me to go after him right now. Just because all his attention is focused towards this area right here. Alright, there we go. As soon as he looked away, we'll just shoot him. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that was quite an easy kill. I guess all that's left to do now is to kind of slowly march towards our spawn because the game is basically over. We have all capture zones. We have a pretty good map control, so there's really no need to do anything else. Well, there we go. Commander Loader on Navat Kampfung. Unfortunately, uh, it's not really... Oh, well, this place here isn't that good of a location to uh, look at what's happening on the other spawn, but maybe not, actually, because we did just get that kill there. Don't really hear anybody here as well, so that's, I guess, good news. So maybe I'll just try and get a better angle on their other spawn right now, but actually no, because we already have plenty of friendlies there. 
So I am instead going to go investigate this spawn down here. Oh, I actually do see a tank right down there. He, of course, knows exactly where I am, though, because I'm marked on their map. So I can't just push this and expect him to not look at me. Also, I'm getting artillery, which uh, isn't that good either. Thankfully, he's kind of approaching me right now, which makes my life a whole lot easier because I can just, uh, yeah, know where he is, I guess, without having to peek around the corner like this. But yeah, and it looks like he's stopped now as well, so we're going to have to get a bit creative here and try and deal with this guy because, yeah, I mean, he isn't stupid either. He knows exactly where I am. And, uh, ooh, we can't actually shoot through here. So there we go, there goes his breach. And now I can safely push him. Hopefully I can go after him through this uh, opening right here. Yep, there we go. Very nice. Sadly, I've hit a rock or something, so I'm a bit slowed down. But we can't hear him, so we know exactly where he's going. Alright, there we go. Yes, finally, uh, he used ESS there, but I, of course, have thermals, so I was able to counter that. The friendly spawn camping, that other spawn, have actually mostly died. Um, or they actually, they've all died now, so I'm gonna slowly leave this area so that they don't know where I am, but I mean, the game is basically over now, so I guess it isn't really too important. Alright, there we go. In the end, only six kills and a capture zone. I mean, I guess that's barely good enough to be included in a video but uh you know i mean i find it quite hard to get pretty good games at top tier just because everyone kind of dies really quickly at the start and then after that they don't really spawn in all right for our next battle we're here on fulda and there's only one capture zone in the middle but i always go here to the side of uh the castle here because you can kind of sneak up on a couple people depending on how lucky you get now we do see a couple people here, sadly, because of the bushes, I can't really get a good shot on them. But, you know, that isn't too tragic, we'll just get rid of that one guy there, we'll back up into cover. And then we'll go after the rest, but sadly I can't really see him that well because of the bushes here, so uh, that'll probably have to wait for the time being. There's actually another leopard there as well, so maybe I'll try and go for him there really quickly before he does anything too crazy. There you go, just back up backed up in time for that uh, whatever tank that is he's too bushed up for me to identify but it I probably can't really stay here now so i'm gonna try and push up here a bit because i do see a tank right over here although this is gonna be quite a tough shot to make uh loader engine yeah no that's not good enough uh there we go he missed his shot and since we know his loader is dead we have uh, all the time in the world to kind of just re-engage him and then back up into cover because someone else just shot us Ooh, sadly there, I, uh, yeah, missed the aim in third person. Still forgot to identify what tank it was. I think it looked like a Challenger. So I guess that's good because now his lower plate's exposed, so it's, uh, significantly, I guess, easier for me to go after. And the problem is, he now knows where I am. So I'm gonna have to be pretty creative here when engaging him. Um, oh, never mind, I don't, actually, because he just shot. So if we're fast enough here, never mind. It's like someone else gets the kill. Now it looks like our team here is kind of pushing that area, so I'm going to continue on forward as well. Just so that I can try and secure myself a couple kills before this game kind of devolves into spawn camping. Ooh, sadly I barely missed the turret ring of that leopard there, so I'm not able to get a kill. There's actually a lot of bushes here, and uh, there's actually a tank behind them as well. Sadly he's a bit too hold down for me to engage, so we're going to do that later on. I don't really know where that leopard went. So it's probably better that I maybe don't push this area right now because I can kind of see over this hill and use it to my advantage. But if I push out, of course, I'll lose that. There is a leopard right there, though. So, uh, oh, that's quite a tough shot to make. I'm going to wait for these guys to push here. Uh, loader, track, yeah, that's not good enough. Uh, he is still very much capable of shooting me, and he has now shot me, uh, so that's good. I will just re-engage him right here. I got his commander in smash mission, so he can definitely still engage me if he wants to. Actually, a leopard right next to him, so we'll get his gun breach as well. Although that guy is loaded by now, so... Yeah, I shouldn't really be engaging him, but uh, you know what? I might try, because I'm a very risky person today, and uh, that was a terrible shot, and I should have shot his driver out or something. 
But, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Maybe I will try to engage him here. And uh, there we go, very nice. So we do actually manage to get the kill on him. There is actually... No, oh no, there is. Oh no, never mind, there was a challenger right there. Unfortunately, I thought he was still alive. Now that Leopard's pushing, but he's been bombed. So I don't have to worry about him as well. I think what I'll try and do now is continue moving forward. Since this area seems clear enough for me to do so now. So yeah, hopefully... I don't get shot. Oh, hello. Hopefully I don't get shot by anybody. I'm also running out of ammunition, I just noticed. So that isn't too good. And I hear like at least two tanks in front of me. Um, but there we go. There is not a kill. Uh, that's not good. He has run away now. And uh, I guess all we have to do is engage this guy. Although, of course, that isn't too easy to do. Uh, there we go. We got his cannon breach. Sadly, only have two rounds of ammunition left, but uh, luckily for me, he actually has some ammunition down there so I can get a guaranteed kill on him. And I guess now for my final, I guess, ammunition, I can try and go after this other leper that I've shot here. Oh, sadly, he's popped smoke, so I don't know what I'm shooting. Uh, that's not so good. Maybe if I just shoot here. There we go, I'll get the kill. And since I have an ammunition now... I have no choice but to go back to the capture zone. Oh, there is a challenger right here. That is bad. I'm going to point him out for my team. Maybe I'll actually make a lot of noise so that he looks back here. Because uh, if I don't, he'll start engaging my teammates and I won't be able to do anything against them because I don't have any rounds loaded. So yeah, this is... Oh, hello. Uh, Alright, well that's fine. Sadly, I don't have any ammunition. So I would have been able to kill him here, maybe. How did he only get the loader? Come on. You know how to shoot me. There we go. So I guess now after 7 kills and 2 assists, we do finally get destroyed. Alright, for our next battle, we are here on uh, Abandoned Town. There we go. And on this map, what's always tradition for me to do is to go to the B point at the start. The problem is you have to be really fast to be able to do so because enemy tanks will be pushing like right around this corner in front of you. And uh, you kind of have to watch it if you don't want to get shot. And uh, there we go, we hear a challenger. Uh, I probably should have shot him there, but I didn't really have the time to do so. Gunner, loader, you know, that's not good enough actually because he'll shoot me. I thought his breach was orange there, but uh, I guess that doesn't really matter. There's also a type 90 or something in front of me. Gonna have to pay attention to that, but luckily my friendlies here destroy him. And I capture his own. And now I guess I wait for my engine to be repaired. Alright, there seems to be some form of bonus SPA right there. And uh, oh, that is a guy looking right at me. So hopefully I'm gonna reload on time, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to run behind this rock here so that I don't get my engine shot out. I guess luckily... He only got my breach, so all my crew is alive, and I can repair, hopefully, relatively soon. Alright, there we go. We have repaired. There is at least one Abrams and one Challenger in front of us, but I'm not really reloaded, so we'll just have to, uh, yeah, take a bit of time to destroy these people here. And there's also another Abrams right here, so we'll just shoot him as well. Commander and Loader, that is not good enough. His breach is orange, so I'm not sure if he can shoot me. But uh, just in case, I'll just shoot right there so that I am 100% sure that his breach is gone. Admittedly, this game is just another round of spawn camping. But uh, admittedly, I don't really have much control over that because that's just how a lot of these top tier games go. Where the enemy kind of just disappears and before you know it, you're already spawn camping them. Alright, there we go. There is one tank, although I got his breach. So we don't have to worry about him. And I also got his engine, so we can just shoot his driver there. Finish him off that way. Again, this is really just spawn camping though, so it isn't like particularly good gameplay and not something that I'd really like to show in a video either, but I'm also not really given a choice because up to game just end extremely quickly and before you know it, like I said, the game is over before anything interesting even is allowed to happen. All right. 
right, there we go. Uh, admittedly got shot by a striker there because I was paying attention to something down there. But, um, yeah, I mean, he still wasn't able to kill me even when he had a perfect side shot. I guess my spawn laner or whatever got really lucky, or the damage models felt being quirky today. And I do survive that, but, um, yeah, I mean, this is really, really boring because... Top tier games, they are just so incredibly... Yeah, quick, I guess, and they're decided within, like, the first minute or so. Alright, there we go, we're in the end, we got six kills in one zone, I mean... You know, it's just spawn camping. I mean, I'm still debating whether or not to actually include this in the video, but like, I don't really have a choice because that's how a lot of my games have went so far. Alright, for our next battle, this should be a bit harder to spawn camp the enemy, so that'll be good. I'm gonna try and go to, uh, I guess, in the area in between the C and B point. Maybe I'll actually just go directly to the B point, because there I can just be sniped from like the hills down there and I can still kind of watch who tries to enter this area. Alright, now I do see a tank right over there, so we'll just quickly engage in there. Looks like it was a T90M. Now, uh, I guess here in this position is actually really strong, because I can also engage people all the way down there, and I should probably do that or else I'm going to get engaged by them. So yeah, I'm going to focus all my attention towards this area right here, because there is... I think a ZTZ or whatever all the way down there. Sadly, he gets behind the hill just before I'm actually able to uh, yeah, shoot him there. That is not good. So, uh, oh, no, no, I'm in a really bad position right now. Luckily, he only gets my driver. And uh, yeah, no, I think right now things aren't looking too good for me. I don't know how this guy hasn't killed me, but uh, I guess now I can use his body as cover. So that's really nice. Although we're still getting shot by him, actually, so I'm going to pop smoke here. I'm just going to have to try and run away. Because, uh, you know, if I don't, he will eventually pick me apart with enough time. Ooh, there we go. We get the driver on the T90 right there, which is good. However, there's also another tank to my left, so I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, be really quick here right now. There are a lot of things happening. This time we're not spawn camping, so that's nice. And, um... Where do I hear them? Somewhere around here. Maybe I'll wait for my loader to replenish the ammo into the ammo rack, I was about to say. But there was an Abrams right there. But, uh, yeah, he's kind of run away now, so I can't really go after him. I have to be really cautious over here, because if I'm not... I'll uh, get sniped by that T90 from all the way down there. But you know what? Maybe I will actually try to move behind this ZTZ or whatever. Because he does seem like quite a juicy target for me. So there we go. We'll just get rid of him there. And uh, yeah, I'm still really scared about getting shot from behind. And I don't know what happened to that Abrams. So I'm just going to roam around here for a bit. And see if I find him. Alright, now we do hear an Abrams in front of us. We see him now as well. I can't really get a good shot on him though. But you know what? I don't want to be engaged by him, so I'm going to get his breach here. We only have seven rounds of ammunition left. So, uh, you know, that, that isn't too great. So maybe I'll actually just camp on the zone here for a bit until I manage to get myself a decent amount of ammunition into my tank. There also seem to be a lot of tanks, or at least some tanks, flanking me, so I guess they'll keep me entertained. For now. Alright, there we go. There's that guy dead. I'm gonna have to pop smoke though because I am gonna get mega annihilated by whatever tanks that are over here. I don't know where that Abram is gone now. Uh, admittedly, I can't really see him, but uh, unfortunately for him, he kind of just stays exposed while he's reloading, so... I guess that gives me another opportunity here to reload a bit of ammunition into my tank. Oh, tank. Um, he doesn't see me, and he doesn't hear me either. I Oh, that's not what I meant to press. Uh, where did my shell go? I guess that doesn't really matter now since he's popped smoke, so I can't really engage him anyway. What's a T90M? There's an Abrams right next to me, so I'm going to point my gun towards this direction now, actually, because... Also, that isn't an Abrams, but it's dead regardless. Um, yeah, I'm going to start 
going after this T90 here. It looks like he's already getting shot and on fire, so maybe there's no need to do that. But hey, I want to get as many kills as possible, so I'll try and engage him here, although... Yeah, this is going to be a bit risky. And never mind, he's died now, so I guess now I can try and get a hold of this hill right here so that I don't get spooked by anybody. Alright, we're just going to try and sneak up on this guy on the C-point. He doesn't seem to know that I exist, although he's not really at that optimal of an angle. And uh, yeah, sadly we only get his breach and whatever else he had exposed there, so we'll just shoot his ammunition. And there we go. We do manage to finish him off. We only have four rounds of ammunition left, so maybe I do have to learn to carry a bit more. But, uh, you know, it's it's fine. We'll just go right engage this T-80 right here. Uh, that's only his driver, so let's just run away before he can get my breach. He has shot there, but it'll probably take me more time to run over this hill and shoot him than for him to reload, so that's why I'm not going to re-engage him here. And instead have him worry about, yeah, anything else for now. Also, that's a tour right there, so I can, it's also another thing that I can go after. Sadly, though, there we go, he's been shot now. So we can go right here. I think that PSO has that engagement in the bag. So I'm going to go harass this Tor right here. Because I know he exists. Although, ooh, that's not good. The BVM actually managed to kill the Leopard or whatever. So that's not very good. But, um, yeah, I mean... It doesn't really matter too much. I'll just go right here and... Okay, I should have advanced a bit more maybe. There we go, we'll just finish him off. Only have one round of ammunition left, so uh, I definitely should have loaded more. We can actually spawn in a nuke now. Um, we have 2,500 points. But admittedly... Yeah, I... Don't have any ammunition anymore, so I actually can't get any additional kills. So, that's a bit sad. Um, but yeah, I've already have had that happen twice today, actually, so... I guess that's tra the trade-off you make when you load only like 18 rounds or whatever so that you have like very little ammunition in your hole. But um, yeah, I guess now we'll just have to see how long we can survive all these tanks here. I guess that could also be fun. Alright, there we go. Well, in the end, we finally get a game where we don't exactly spawn camp from the start. Uh, 10 kills, 1 capture zone. I mean, that's pretty solid stuff. We could have also spawned in a nuke, but I thought there would be no or not enough time, so that's why I didn't decide to do so but anyway um hopefully you have enjoyed this video here i mean the 122b plus i mean it's basically just a b but it looks a bit more smoother uh, it also has that cool desert skin if we go take a look at it here but other than that it really feels like the same tank i think it even is the same tank i mean these composite skirts i mean I, do they do anything i don't think so small layers i mean both tanks have them both tanks have identical armor as well so it's really not a big difference, but it's still really nice because it's the, another addition to the strongest MBT line in the game. Where now you have three POS or STRV122s and you can always pair it up with another 2A6 if you so choose to. Final stats in this thing. We go take a quick look. Uh, there we go. We have 69 and 6. And if I just take my calculator here, that is uh, roughly like... Oh, that's really high. 11.5. Uh, wow, I didn't even expect that. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty high, and 87% win rate is definitely also pretty high. So, uh, yeah, you can see that this is very a very strong tank. But anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this video here. Let me know if you guys want to see, really, any other vehicle in the future. And yeah, that'll be it for me today. Bye-bye!